Hey everybody, it's one of those rare days in Southern California where it's cold and crappy out. Um, if I had somewhere to go, I would take the bike, but since I don't have anywhere to go, I'm going to stay in the garage where it's nice and warm and work on the electrical on the scooter. So I got the scooter stripped down to about where it was when I originally got it. It didn't have a battery when I first got it. It doesn't need one to run. I had added a battery because I had put some turn signals on it and I had an alarm system on here. And the, the turn signals don't really work too well going straight off the stator power. Um, but So I got everything stripped back down so I can make sure it's running with how it's supposed to be. But I, I do want to switch it to where the, uh, the, the tail light and the headlight are running off the battery power instead of straight off the stator because it tends to flicker at low RPMs. Um, so I'm going to get that done today. It's kind of hard to see, but the, uh, the wiring on the key switch is kind of just jerry-rigged. Um, I, I never got a key for it, and so it's just basically always on. So we got to get this old switch out. As you can see the switch does absolutely nothing. It's got ground going to it, which it doesn't need. And it's got the green wire from the stator connecting straight to the wire going to the regulator. So this is pretty much worthless. They just jerry-rigged it so it'll run. Right. Since that ground wire doesn't need to be wired in, I'm just gonna tape it off. I'm gonna rewire the whole thing later on. I just wanted to make sure it would run before I uh, start playing around with the electrical system. Now to put my fancy schmancy new key in there. I do not use this helmet holder, so I'm going to take this thing off because it just gets in the way. And because I don't want to leave holes in it, I got some little rubber grommets I'll stick in there. Um, they're meant for bigger holes, but they should still fit okay. There we go, almost like it was meant to be. All right, now the next thing is I'm gonna wire up the ground first, then I'll run the power. I'm gonna split this off to opposite sides of the switch so that the key will actually keep it from running. And we should be good to go. All right, so first thing is to hook up the ground wire. That's good enough for now. I'll come back later, shorten it up. All right, so uh, following with the philosophy of uh, if you don't do it several times, you aren't doing it right, I had to rethink the way I'm gonna do this. Um, it's not as simple as just running a red wire and hooking everything up to there. Um, so right now I have a green wire that's coming from the CDI, which I'm gonna put onto one terminal. I have the red wire coming from the headlight, which I'm going to put on the terminal. I have two orange wires, one of them for the tail light, one of them for the brake switch light, 
um, that I need to run up to those terminals, and then I got to run a power from the battery up to the terminals. Um, in theory, if I do all that, I will be able to have the key switch turn on the headlight, the tail light, and be able to hit the brakes and hit the brake light without having to turn the motor on. And then this green wire from the stator, or from the CDI, should charge the battery when it's running. All in theory. Um, but so let's get that done. And to make sure I don't blow myself up, I'm going to put an inline fuse in there. I just happen to have a fuse left over from when I was working on the Ural. Shorts on, they're good. All right. Make sure the key is turned off. And hook this thing up to power. Hopefully, I don't fry myself. hooked up right when I turn the key on tail light should come on headlight should come on and then if I hit the brake pedal brake load should come on and nothing what did I do wrong Not the fuse. All right, check continuity. I have 12 volts at the tail light right now, and I have 12 volts at the headlight right now. Not wanting to light up though. What did I do wrong? Something's not right here. What is not right? Ground. Power. anything while I'm messing around with it.
Oh, sh**. The light bulb fell out of the goddamn thing. Well, that would help. So my engineering was sound, just my parts were jacked. I swear, that is the most rinky-dink f***ing lighting system I have ever seen. If you look, this bulb is just basically wedged in between a piece of brass or a piece of metal. And then there's a little rubber thing separating it from the power lead. And the friggin' bulb fell right out. So, again, if I rewire everything that I just friggin' cut out. Um, So again, this on. When I turn the switch on, I have tail lights. I have brake lights. Just don't have headlights. All right, so try number two failed on doing the wiring. Um, I didn't film me trying to troubleshoot it. Um, I forgot to turn the camera on. Uh, I figured out what the problem was. I was using the wrong wire, um, but I, I wanted to talk a little bit about half-assing. I hate when shit gets half-assed. Um, the person that had the scooter before me, I know he didn't do it because he's like a brilliant scooter mechanic, but this person that had it before him replace the motor it's a it's a Vespa rally 200 um, they replaced the motor they must have blown their motor or something didn't want to spend the money to get it rebuilt so they replaced it with a 150 Bajaj motor um, and then they completely rewired the whole damn thing themselves now it's not a huge deal I went and created my own wiring diagram for it um, but the guy half-assed uh, he didn't spend a few extra dollars to buy different color wires and so I have four red wires running through the length of the scooter. Um, now with a motorcycle, you can usually trace the wires down, but if you look at this, right, this is the only spot at the front where you can pull wires from, is right through the head. You gotta follow all the way down, and if you're lucky, you can grab like a little bit of wire here and there, and then it runs all the way down the middle column here inside of the scooter. So there's no way to tell what wire is going where. Um, if you're lucky, you might pull on one of the wires halfway through and you can see it moving on over here, which is what I did. And I was able to trace down 99% of the wires. Um, but so I'm gonna try try number three now. Um, the, the problem that I, that I ran into was I started wiring everything into the switch and I was skipping the rectifier. Um, I, I don't wanna run everything outside of the rectifier. I want to make sure that the, the voltage is a little bit more regulated. I don't want to run it straight off the battery. So I'm going to wire everything back into the rectifier, um, run my power into the rectifier, and that way, theoretically, <laughs> it should, when I turn the key on, it should power up everything, but then when it's running, it should run off of the scooter. But So here goes try number three. All right, so we are now back to the side of the scooter. Um, I'm going to run this power wire from the battery up to the key switch. Then I'm going to run a wire from the key switch back down to the rectifier. That's the this is the red wire coming in from the stator. So I'm going to tie into there, and hopefully either the stator or the battery will power the brake light. And the other red light is for the headlight, or the other red wire is for the headlight. 
Um, I have the red wire kit kill switch back tied into the CDI. Uh, the red wire turn signal is not being used right now, and the red wire horn is not being used right now. All these red wires everywhere. And from going back to the key switch, or go back from the key to electrifier, I'm using pink, because why the hell not? Um, I am going to rewire this entire scooter. Once I know it's running and everything's good on it, um, this thing is going to get torn apart. And I'm going to build my own harness for it, um, because I'm, I'm tired of dealing with nothing but red wires throughout the entire thing. Moment of truth. Switch is off right now. We have a tail light. We have a brake light. We have a headlight. Right, so my battery's almost dead and I am done for the night. Um, I'm done working on this thing. Hopefully during the week I can get my girls to help me throw the carburetor on there and then we can try and start it up. Hope you enjoy the content. Um, if you do, subscribe, like, and like I always say, if I do something majorly wrong, just leave a comment and I'll get it to you. Alright, good night.